So what is the role of a teacher? To teach for the job market, financial security, passion, or life in general. My hope is that it's all of the above. And if that is the case, then creativity is paramount. Dewey claimed that the role of education was not only to prepare students for later life, but to engage students wholly in life at the present moment. As a teacher, I'm going to have to defend arts programs in schools. Say I'm at a board meeting, or a principal's office, or in the glass office of some authority who has the almighty power to cut arts funding. They may turn to me and say, so, why should we teach arts in schools? What they really should be asking me is, so why should we enrich these students' lives? Why should we help them to develop their capacities to express thoughts, feelings, knowledge? Do they really need more self-confidence and social skills? Uh, okay, I get it. I get that we equate education with, well, can they get a job if they're into the arts? <sighs> Elliot Eisner describes imagination as the engine to cultural and social progress. Experience in the arts cultivates imagination and creativity, both characteristics of great thinkers and leaders. Therefore, rest assured, almighty warden of the arts funding, according to research by Ontario Arts Council, arts education helps students to develop those higher level skills in order to be successful in, in the workplace and in changing our society. Howard Gardner believes that the arts are deeply personal areas where students can encounter their own feelings as well as the feelings of other individuals. And I think our world could do with a little bit more awareness and empathy. And graffiti! Come on, look at this! I mean, seriously, Calgary, Toronto's kicking our ass.